What's up, everyone? This is all Destroyer229, and welcome back to Let's Play Persona 4. Last time, we went through Void Quest yet again in order to, well, do some more stuff in terms of quests and whatnot, and take on the threat here before we go and rescue Nalto. In this episode, with a ton of Persona Fusions under our belts, we're ready to go to take on the boss that lies beyond here. We don't need the Courage Boost, but it's still probably in our best interest to actually do this. So let's go ahead and take it on. There's one enemy. Hang in there. And now we fight the escapist soldier. The escapist soldier, vulnerable to ice and wind, resists almighty, and even though it says it resists physical, it actually doesn't, and nulls light and dark. It knows the skills Arm Chopper, Mind Slice, Crazy Chain, Blade of Fury, Mudoon, Foul Breath, and Stagnant Air. This thing is primarily just going to be using physical attacks, and we mostly want to focus on using ice and wind. So, Yosuke and Teddy would be our best bets to use here, but I only have Yosuke, so we'll just have to make do. Okay, I will try focusing on buffs and debuffs, so I'm just gonna switch on over to Succubus. And hit him with a Secunda. I have Madaku Kaja to help out as well. Uh oh. Okay, that's why I did Secunda. <laughs> okay, Yukiko. Uh, we don't need healing right now, so go ahead and hit him with an Agirao. I couldn't do it. Kanji. Um. Let's see. I guess a kill rush. Yeah, we'll go with the Kill Rush. Like I said, even though this thing says it's resistant to physical, it actually takes normal damage. I don't know why it's like that, but it is. Well, whatever. Yosuke is still going to be one of our better attackers here. And I will put up a Madaku Kaja to cut down on damage. Alright, what's he gonna do? Blade of Fury again. Okay, that hurt everyone. Uh, Yukiko, please be a deer. I mean, granted, I came out pretty alright, but not everyone was that lucky. Ah, damn. Alright, Yosuke, go ahead and just hit him with a Gola. And what do I want to do? I think in terms of damage, I want to be on Hokoto Seiku. Because I have a super powered up Agidine to hit him with. 207! That is insane! Yikes, and I thought Black Frost was powerful. Holy crap! Uh, Kanji, hit him with a kill rush. Damn. Alright, Yosuke, you can go ahead and dish out some damage. And my evasion went back to normal. Oh well. Hit with the Nagi Dine, Hakoto Seikun. Ah, crap. Oh no. Okay, um, Yukiko, this would be a good time to heal. Yosuke could certainly use it. Alright, and then Kanji can hit him with a kill rush. Nice! Okay, it seems weird that he's only using Blade of Fury, but you know what? I'm not gonna complain. 
switch back over the Succubus. And him with a Secunda. I think he'll go to Seikun, actually, no Secunda as well, but I don't think he has Invigorate, whereas Succubus does. Okay, he might be trying... Actually, what would be... Oh, right, his other skills. Mind Slice and possibly Crazy Chain. I couldn't do it. Those might also be slightly problematic. I was just looking through the skills, it's like, wait, what would that possibly help him accomplish? Oh, well, whatever, I answered my own question. Let's go ahead and put up a mod Akukaja. And what are you going to do now? Mudoon! Yeah, yeah, remember when I talked about homunculi earlier? That's the reason why I don't like them in this game. Because I could have very easily used Yukiko to have brought back Yosuke. And instead, it just uses a homunculus. Granted, it does save me a turn so I could actually continue to attack, but seriously? Whatever, just hit him with an Ankydine. And Mind Slice. Damn! Good job, everyone! That worked out a lot better than I was expecting it to. Okay, Yosuke, go ahead and him with the Gola. And I'm not sure if this will finish him off, but I can certainly try. Mm, not quite. Uh oh. Okay. Well. Now, shall we move on? That worked. Thanks, Yukiko. <laughs> Well, whatever, for beating him, we do get some courage, which isn't really necessary at this point. Oh, sweet, Yukiko leveled up. And she learns Fire Boost. Ooh, what do I want to get rid of for this? Um... Probably Medea? Yeah, we'll get rid of... Well, yeah, Medea, because I have Medea Rama, and I typically... When it comes to healing spells, I don't usually go back to the lower level ones. Ooh, next is Agidine. That will be nice. All right, and where do we go to collect our additional item? I mean, I don't really see anything, but there's a pile of bones right over here. You lie to me, game. There is an item here. We get the Gaia Sword for doing this. So the Gaia Sword is a weapon for our character. And is actually pretty good. 200 attack power, 88 hit and evade, quite a bit better than edge, and has a chance to inflicting a random status ailment on an enemy. Granted, it's a low chance, but it's still pretty good. So overall, a very nice item. And with sword in hand, let's go ahead and get the hell out of here. All right, well, with everything taken care of, now is a good time to go after Naoto. We finished off everything that we needed to over in Void Quest. Uh, yeah, we'll go ahead and use an ointment on Kanji. And, Rise, let's head on over to the base. Like I said, we still have plenty of time, but better to get him out of here sooner rather than later.
I don't see anyone else infiltrating this base. Alright, so the secret laboratory. Definitely one of the more interesting aesthetic ones, and granted, probably one of the more normal ones we've seen in a while. Granted, with a new dungeon comes new enemies. Okay, so we have the Royal Dancer and the Flattering Hablaries. Okay, both of them know fire spells, which is interesting. Um... Let's see, what do I want to use? Well, I've got an idea. Let's switch on over to Gabriel. And hit him with the Mabufula. Okay, the Hablers are at least weak to that. Sure thing, Kanji, go for it. Nice! Let's go for it. Okay, so the Hablery's weak to ice. Dancers, still not sure about that one. Ooh, Floros. Uh, sure, we can go ahead and grab you. I do need some more fusion fodder. Ooh, okay, Arcana Chance, what do we have? Strength. Sure, I guess. I don't think I'm under effects of anything else. All right. Hey, hey! You know, once in a blue moon, I actually do get something really good from this. It almost never happens, but when it does... Oh boy, does it help make my day. Nice, Kanji! Not quite sure we've seen him do a crit like that before. Alright, so while we're exploring this dungeon, what exactly does this really have to do with Nalto? Since all the dungeons are related in some way to the people who create them. Well, I'll tell you after this fight! The Constancy Relic. Okay, no Garudine, Anima Freeze, and Repatra. Okay, ah, uh, can I just smack it? Nope! Eat it. Uh-oh. Uh, Kanji! Anima Freeze, uh-oh. Ah, crap, exhaustion. Crap. Okay, well thankfully Thoth knows Mabufula. We can give this a go. Alright, and then hit him with the Mazionga. Damn it. Okay, Yukiko, right, that won't work. Go with an Agidao then. Weak to fire. Unfortunately, she's still lost some SP. Right, but I can live. And hey! Kanji leveled up! Now, I said that I would go over it as soon as we got done with the fight, but I want to claim what's ever in this chest first. Yikes, we've got a lot of keys! Okay, a weapon for Kanji. Dead. Scudetto. Alright, is that anything worthwhile? Um. This patriotic shield repels danger. No, not really. I'm gonna keep the hardboard, but I actually want to see if it says patriotic. What does it look like? Um, Ganji, stop, stop moving. I want to... See, oh, that's what it looks like. Eh. I was really expecting something a little bit different. Oh well, whatever. Give him the hardboard. And let's try healing. 
So the secret lab, you'll recall when Yosuke basically went on that little bit of a tangent before we entered here, saying that it actually seemed a bit, you know, kid-like, and then you, or Chie went on a little tangent about how she had her own secret base in the mountains. Oh, new enemies. The inviting Nyogos. Okay, I want to say these things are weak to fire. Uh, do I have a persona that knows Maragi on? Yes, Succubus does. Perfect. Three enemies left. You can win Let's this. go ahead and hit him with it. Yes, my memory did not deceive me. Now's our chance. Let's go for it. I should also probably restore my SP. Granted, when Succubus gets a... Uh, Spirit Drain, that will help out a lot. Ooh. Oh, it's just Gadon. I was really hoping it was something like Thoth. Oh, well, once Succubus does get Spirit Drain, that will help out a lot. Um, so does. Where are my so does? Uh, Chess Key, Meat Gum. I have a lot of these. And this is why I buy them throughout the game. So, uh, you'll... Everything that's kind of been going on to this point kind of points to that little bit about Naoto. Even though he puts on this very professional attitude and how he's very, you know, responsible. Oh, hey, even more new enemies. Insolent Basalts. Okay, what do I want to use against you, Lon? Oh, I'm willing to stick with Succubus. And with the Monogi on. Okay, fire does normal damage. Uh, how about wind? Wind also does normal. That took forever. Yosuke, that took all of two turns. Yes, I leveled up! Alright, Rise! But Naoto, well, think of it this way. Naoto is just a year under us. He's about 15 years old and still very much, for all intents and purposes, a child. He's still a kid, really. And even though he puts on this air of professionalism, that's still... Oh, I thought that there was a shadow here. There is just still the matter of him needing to, well, grow up. And while he does have... Puts on the front of being professional and being an adult. Everyone grows up in a bit of a different manner, in a different fashion. So, uh, even though he puts on this very professional, very formal attitude, there's still a part of him that cries out to be more childlike and still very much like a child, which pretty much kind of falls into how people, well, adults perceive him. Think of it this way. The different people that Naoto work with don't exactly like the idea of some kid showing them up. After all, what does some 15-year-old kid know that they wouldn't? So, a lot of what kind of Naoto has to deal with are people treating him down simply because of inexperience. Although he solved a number of cases, there is just still that age factor and people will find any reason to knock you down if they don't like you. Samael, Genbu, and Parvati. I'm pretty sure we've had all these personas before. I'm gonna try for Samael, though. There we go. Ooh! Ooh congratulations. I leveled up! 
as did Thoth. Nice. Ooh, and he gets Null Mute. Which, I kind of like everything that I already have, and I don't really care to pass that down to anyone. Ooh, but he gets Zeldyne! <laughs> and Yosuke leveled up. Good job, Yosuke. So Naoto basically has to deal with these... Well, with people who just treat him down simply because of how young he is. And part of him still wants to embrace being young. After all, once your childhood goes away, I mean, you're an adult for the rest of your life, basically. Youth doesn't last forever. Uh, we could probably head back. So, there is just one part of Naoto that yearns to just embrace being a child while he still can. Yet he feels the need to prove himself. To prove to the world around him that he's worthy of being a detective. That he's worthy to be there to solve crimes. Quite like that. All of the areas we've been to have tried to push us back. So I don't think it's necessarily Nalto so much as it is just the area we're in. Now, you can come up with a very excellent counterpoint. Well, if time eventually just goes on, wouldn't Nalto just eventually become an adult anyway? You would be right, eventually Naoto would just become an adult, with more time and... Bleh. Unless it's a gold chest. I don't see the sparkles, I don't... Oh, wait... Damn it, there's another one! Okay, gonna need to play this really carefully. So yes, you would be right in which eventually Naoto would just become an adult, and with more time and experience, Eventually, those people will just either accept him or just retire and not have anything to do with law enforcement anymore. So yes, time would eventually fix the problem. Oh, great! World balances! Okay, what do I want to do against you? Well... Succubus does know darkness, so let's try that. Hey, hey! I called right! Awesome! Okay. Something weak to darkness? Ooh. Then I'm perfectly okay with that. Orthrus, Okuninushi, and Alaru. Orthrus. All right. Oh, did I level up? All right, Yukiko. However, there's two things that are sort of incorrect with that assessment. One, Naoto isn't an adult yet, so he would just. He would still just lose that childhood, that almost childlike innocence, and just living his life as a kid. So in one sense, he would lose a part of his life in that case. But there's also a second problem specifically dealing with Nalto. Now... Unfortunately, I'm not going to go into that. There's something else that weighs heavily on Naoto, but 
I am not going to talk about that. Why? Well, it'll become apparent eventually. Just know that there's something more to why law enforcement and why Naoto's peers don't really accept him. Age is a factor, but it's not the only thing. And that pretty much does it with all I want to talk about. Yeah, not really a whole lot, but whatever. We only had the one persona to really talk about. Although, granted, from this point onward, we probably will be going into quite a number of history lessons. Since now that we're finishing up some of our party members' social links, we're getting to some of the more advanced personas. Crap! So yeah, starting from like the next dungeon onward, we will have plenty of time to go over things like history lessons. But unfortunately, I can't do that. Is that wind or electricity? I want to say that's wind. Oh, that totally looks like a wind. Yes! Finally, a good accessory. Although I still don't have a good accessory for Kanji. So yeah, if you think that we've been a little bit light in terms of history lessons, don't worry. We'll get to a lot of them pretty soon. Unfortunately, can't go over any of those because, well, we haven't gotten them yet. Unfortunately, that's just the way things are. I'm gonna go for it! Oh, crap! All right, powered up! All right, Kanji! I do need to get into some more fights. Unfortunately, now is about the point in the game where Invigorate 2 really isn't helping us all that much. You can see that I'm already pretty low on, well, SP again. So yeah, now's about the point in the game where it's starting to become far less effective as a way of preserving SP. Granted, it's still helpful and I still like to pass it down, but- Oh crap! How does that still a player advantage? Whatever, don't question it, Succubus killed them all. Okay, well, I did mention that sometimes you can get a first strike even when you really shouldn't have. But whatever. Ooh, Dis Parvati and Ado Rune. Let's get Dis. I'm not sure we have Dis. We might have. No, I'm pretty sure we've made Dis before, but we'll make sure that we have her. Let's release Samael and Arcana Chance. Ooh, Temperance. Um, I'm not sure if we've had Temperance or not. Temperance influences money. So we could potentially get more money or we could get one yen. I'm gonna chance it. Yes! Aha, perfect. Really worried about that one, cuz we could really use some extra money. Oh well, whatever. We got the money. That's all we well could have hoped for for that card. Let's move on. I agree with that sentiment. We need to hurry up. Now, what's actually kind of interesting is that the Secret Laboratory is probably the only dungeon in the game that actually kind of forces you to do some backtracking. 
And before we get to that, we have some new enemies. The Dismayed the Panzer people. and the Dogmatic Tower. That one's totally weak. Let's see, Better mostly electricity-based and physical. Okay, well let's go ahead and switch to Thaw. Just two left. Come on, this and we'll hit over. the Panzer with the Zionga. Damn it! Uh, okay, Yosuke, hit him with the Garula or Magarula. Oh, shoot. Okay, Panzer reflects wind. Good to know. How about fire? The tower reflects fire. Okay, let's try electricity again. Okay, well, at least I took knocked down the Panzer. Tower's going to do that. Okay. Yes, that's what I was hoping for. Uh, let's go ahead and switch back to Succubus. Because I really want Spirit Drain. And just smack the tower. And then everyone just rush it. Save on the SP and just murder the thing. Okay, now what exactly do I mean by that? Well, this is actually one instance in which we are forced to do some backtracking. Kanji has that one bit where it unlocks a shortcut, and in Void Quest, there was that orb that you needed, but you could get it the first time you were there. Oh, great, more enemies. Furious Gygus. Okay, so physical attacks are out. Let's try fire. There you reflect fire. Oh my. Um. Dentetafu. Okay, that worked out beautifully. Okay, let's go ahead and do that. Uh, let's go for a Mazionga. Try electricity. That didn't work. Electricity won't work. Be careful. Okay, I might be forced to use physical attacks. Uh, let's try darkness. Effective? You're off to a good start. Damn! Okay. Uh, well, let's make sure we take care of you. Enemy defeated. Keep it up, uh, Yukiko, high. go ahead and... Yeah, Mediarama. We could all kind of use some healing. And then Kanji can hit him with a kill rush. Here goes. Okay, that was pretty effective. Okay, still confused. That's good. That's very good. Okay, that counter strike didn't activate. That was nice. Hey! Indeed I did. Ooh, something else leveled up. Of course it's Gadon. Why wouldn't it be? Oh, well, at least Yosuke leveled up. Ooh, and Risei, too! Now, in terms of what I was saying before about backtracking... Um, it might not be this floor, it might be the next floor. But there is going to be an instance in which we will need to go down a floor in order to get a certain item in order to unlock another door. What exactly do I mean by that? Well, I'll explain after we take care of these things. Shallow Okinas. Wind and they have old one. Okay. Uh, how do you deal with physical? Damn it. Okay, wind's probably not gonna work. 
Okay, uh-oh. Oh, thank goodness, that missed. Ah, not again. That missed everyone, too. I'll take it. Okay, fire does a good amount of damage. How about electricity? Perfect. Awesome. Now's our chance for a beatdown. Okay, so that worked out beautifully. All right. And shuffle time. What do we have? A persona whose name I know I can't pronounce. Part of Auntie and Genbu. Let's get him. There we go. Hitok Hitokoto Nushi. Okay. Um. Yeah, let's get rid of Orthrus. I don't need him. Ooh, Arcana Chant. We probably won't need this. Empress. Oh, the Empress is just HP. Never mind. I was about to say, it's a shame that we still have Temperance, and then I thought, wait a minute, no, I'm thinking of Judgment. Hey, a homunculus! Yep, we can just find those in normal chests now, which is nice. Nice that they're not in rare chests, considering how limited their effectiveness is. But what exactly did I mean by the backtracking bit? Well, in order to progress further, we need to have a specific item which is going to be locked behind an item on the lower floors. I forgot how dangerous these things could be! Yikes! I really forgot how dangerous those panzers could be. Okay. I'm going to need to heal. ASAP. Um, ooh, Dominion and Hanuman! Let's grab Dominion. There we go. And we'll go ahead and release Floros. Alright, and another Arcana chance. What do we have? Emperor! Uh, tempting! That is super tempting! But I do want to keep that money flow coming, so I'm going to say no. Alright, Yukiko! However, the item that we need to progress forward, which is locked behind something on a lower floor, that can only be opened on something from a higher floor. So, yeah, we're actually going to have to go back and forth between some of these floors if we actually want to progress onward. Which is actually kind of nice, considering that otherwise dungeons are just straight shots. Oh my. So, I mean, while I'm not a big fan of backtracking, at the very least, it's only for one dungeon, and it's different from how other dungeons go. Anyway, Red Sigils. Uh, it's a no-brainer. I'm sure you'll win. I believe I... Well, actually, do I have another persona that is... Oh! Gabriel resists fire. Okay, then that solves my dilemma. Damn! Good job, Gabriel! And there goes Temperance. So now the Emperor would be pretty nice right about now. Uh, this looks like it leads to treasure, so I'll head over this way and hope that I'm right. Yeah, it looks like I'm right. Um, go for it! Hi, Hanuman! Glad you can make it! Okay. Blank, 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 Hanuman. It's like, if that last card isn't Hanuman, I'm going to be seriously disappointed. Uh, let's get rid of Dis. Ooh, Arcana Chance! Please be Emperor. Stop. Okay, fine. 
Oh no, a reverse star. Whatever will I do? Not like I really care about star that much. One more chance doesn't even isn't even something I really care about that much. Another level. Gotta keep at it. All right, Kanji. All right, so what is in the lucky chest? Sengaki rice. I may want to consider actually using those types of items. Then again, like I have succubus, which has a very high chance of hitting with Mudoon. So that's also really nice to have. Uh, let's just finish those off. I want to save up my money and, well, the trips to head on over to the Fox. Since I'm, since now I'm just draining my SP like crazy. Because that is typically how I play this game. Alright, well, whatever. That's why I have those items and hopefully this will be something really nice. Alright, now what's in this lucky chest? Please let it actually be lucky. A peach battle suit! Ooh! Armor is always nice! Okay... So, the peach battle suit... Evade physical low... Um... Well... That's sort of nice, but Yukiko's not weak to win, so... What was her evasion to other types of attacks, but honestly, I think that's more than... Worth the... More than worth the sacrifice. So yes, in order to progress further ahead, we will need some authentication. And to get that, we just need to get key cards from different areas. <gasps> you are mine! Okay, what are you? The opulent hand. It's a no-brainer. I'm sure you'll win. Ooh. What is the best way to take you down? Is it potentially with darkness? Because if I can just one-shot you. Of course, it's not going to be that easy. Uh, it may be physical attacks. But I can give it a shot. Nope, normal magic seems to work quite well. Very well, in fact. Here goes. I love physical. Damn. Okay. Gold shadows are going easy on us again. And a curse paper. All right, well, we are starting to run a little bit low on time, but let's maybe try to make our way through this floor. And then we can go and call it a day. I could, it would probably also be a good time to just stop by the fox. Ah, see, this is where the lockdown kicks in. So this is the research area. And we need something that proves that we aren't just an ordinary combatant. In other words, we need to prove something that we're not security. Or, you know, intruders in which that's the whole point why the door's locked in the first place. Alright, well, whatever. There's a chest over this way. It's a... Oh, no! It's a gold chest! Ooh, some sand! Flowing sand. Okay, so you're either weak to physical, like you usually are, or you are weak to ice. Let's try ice. Gabriel? 
Nope, they reflect ice. Okay, how about physical? Someone else vulnerable to physical. Um, fire? Nope. Okay. Um. In which case, we'll just stick with physical. Damn it. Um. Are you perhaps the weakened one? You are the weakened one. Okay. Um. Well, that could certainly work. Go ahead and switch to Succubus and smack him. Nice. He's poisoned. Okay, sure. Make us angry and force you force us to hit your weaknesses. Sure, I can go with that. Perfect. Leave this to me. Or this can work. Go for it, Yukiko. Here goes. And he's dead. We have our chance. Are you ready? Let's go for it. Okay, well that hurt a lot. <laughs> Again, I wasn't expecting them to reflect my ice attack. So yeah. The real is not exactly the best if I don't know that they can do that. Yes, Alright, Rise! Oh man, that means we're just behind a level up too. Alright, and the gold chest has. Damn it. Man, I hate it when I get a weapon that I don't need, and then I get a repeat weapon that's exactly the same. Since it's useless. Hey, there's my level up. And? Damn it, Gadon! I was really expecting it to be Thoth. Well, whatever. Yosuke leveled up. <laughs> Alright, now I'm not exactly sure the best way to get through this. Granted, we don't need to go through any of these doors. What we need to do is find the stairs. That's what we need to accomplish. Find the stairs, and then we can progress ever onward. We'll need to come back here... But that's not what we're looking for right now. Ooh. Fuki. At least I think that's Fuki. Okay. That was easy. <laughs> Alright, what do we want to get rid of for Fuki? Um. I guess Hanuman. Don't really need him. Oh, did I level up? Alright, Yukiko! Alright, well, whatever. We just need to progress ever onward, and is this perhaps the stairs? The stairs! Ow. <laughs> Man, we just walked right past them. Woo! Go us! I'd like to see you try. All right, well, let's go ahead and claim this chest. Magical Chest of Wonders has an assault signal. Nice. Go ahead and have Yukiko heal us all up, and then we can get the hell out of here. I think we've made a good amount of progress for today. And, well, we'll just pick up here next time. Though I would like to go back just so that way we can recover our SP. We could certainly use it. Alright, so how much would it cost to recover our SP as it is? Only 10,000 yen! Heck, we got more from the gold shadow than what we need to recover right here. And this is why you max out the Fox social link as soon as possible. 
Well, with everything that's said and done, I think we're good to call it a day here. So, next time on Let's Play Persona 4. We continue on through the secret base. We still have a long way to go. I have no idea where that sentence was supposed to go. We have a long way to go before we finish off that area and before we are even close to rescuing Naoto. But that is exactly what we're going to do. We will just keep pressing onward in the hopes of rescuing him. So until next time, everyone, take care.